Good morning, Cougars. I am Brendan Berry. I am Emmanuel Roundtree. Today is Thursday, May 23rd, 2024. Our thought for the day is from inventor Thomas Edison. Our greatest weakness lost in giving up. The most certain way to succeed is always trying to. Just one more time. Hmm. That sounds like our word of the week. Persevere. Don't quit. Take Edison's advice. Try one more time. For lunch today, you will have a choice of Salisbury steak with rice or corn dog, garden peas, cabbage, and assorted fruits. We have two cougar birthdays today. Happy birthday to Savannah Black in second grade and Diane Chavez in seventh grade. We hope your day is fabulous. Remember that all library books must be turned in by this Friday. We will not have school on Monday due to the Memorial Day holiday. Spirit Week has been so much fun. We have several teachers slash students photos to show you what a fun day. have enjoyed seeing you dress all week for the theme of the day. Our blue and white today is going to take over the gym this afternoon at the pep rally. Right, comma, Emmanuel. Remember that there will be a pep rally at two this afternoon. Teachers, please be sure to leave your classroom and get your class seated so we may begin on time. EOG testing officially be begins tomorrow morning, grade fifth through eight will be taking their science EOGs in the morning. Please be mindful of the noises in the hallway. Remember that some students will be taking their tests in different classrooms, so quiet hallways are a must. Miss Sherman has seen a message for all of us. We get ready to take our test over the next few days. Let's watch. Good morning, Northeast Cougars. I hope that you're doing well today. I just wanna take a few minutes of your time um, to give you one last hurrah and just encourage you to do your best on our test that we have coming up. Um, I have no doubt that your teachers here have prepared you for what you're getting ready to face and this is your day to show us what you know. I know that you have a lot of feelings. We've talked about these in a lot of classrooms I've been in and you may feel overwhelmed worried, frustrated, nervous, I get it. But I'm here to tell you today that yes, you can. I need you to listen to me. You can take each test, whether it be math, science, um, ELA, whatever it is. You can meet your goals. You can surpass your goals. You can show growth. You can do well, I have no doubt. I want you to believe in yourself because I want you to know that every adult in this building, we believe in you and we know you're gonna do well. It's all about Daddy's dream. It's all about Daddy's dream. It's time for our word of the week. Our word of the week this week is persevere. P-E-R-S-E-V-E-R-E. -E -E. The definition of the word is to push through difficult events until the end. We have shared synonyms, precise and continue, and the antonyms stop and quit. Today is our short story day. So listen as all these words are used in the story. Jenny's dream was to be a high school cheerleader. She went to gymnastics to work on her tumbling skills 
attended practice and middle and games in middle school, but did not feel ready for her audition on Thursday. Her mother and father continued to encourage her to persist through the practices, but there were times that Jenny just wants to quit. She wonders if she will make the team and wants to stop all of the practice if she does not have a chance. She realizes that she must pers persevere if her dream has to come true. Life is like that. If you stop or quit, you will not be able to succeed with any of your goals. Continue to work hard and persist through the difficult times. Persevere. You, you'll reap the awards if you do. Oh, and be sure to use these words in your writings and conversations. This weekend contains an important holiday for our country. It is Memorial Day and will be celebrated on Monday, May 27th. Memorial Day is the nation's foremost annual day to mourn and honor its deceased servicemen and women. In the, one, in the waning years of the Civil War, 18 through, 1861 through 1865, and immediately afterwards, communities in the North and South, Black and White, decorated soldiers' graves with the floral honors on Springtime Decoration Day. On May 5, 1868, the Memorial Act formally established Memorial Day as a decoration day on which a nation would remember its war death and decorate their graves with flowers. A congressional resolution in 1966 recognized a century of Memorial Day events held and was officially proclaimed by President Lyndon B. Johnson. Shortly after that, the Uniform Monday Holiday Act legislation enacted in 1968, effective in 1971, designated Memorial Day a national holiday and moved it from May 30th to the last Monday in May. Sadly, the Memorial Day holiday is not always celebrated with reverence or attention to those who died defending our country. It has become a day for the beach, barbecues, and shopping. We hope that by making you aware of this history, you will pause and consider the men and women honor on this day. Now please stand for a moment of silence. Remain standing as we are led in the Pledge of Allegiance by the second grade class of Miss Lewis. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank, Thank you, Cougars. Do, do your best, best and let your Cougar roll. roll.